Hey there, Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com and welcome. This may have caught you off guard. <clears throat> Do you have a case of the Yebbets? Do you even know what the Yebbets are? <laughs> so here's what happens, right? So the, the, the reason I'm talking about this is this happens with my clients sometimes. And, um, uh, you know, you, you, you have an idea or somebody, you talk about something and you immediately go, um, yeah, but, right? Yeah, but. Yes, but, yeah, but what, right? So instead of saying, yeah, but, because that brings up reasons, AKA excuses, right? Not to do things. And so instead of saying, yeah, we could do this and this, but here, and it which now raises all of the reasons why you can't, right? If you would say yes and, and then add to that, right? Maybe it's yes and here are some of the challenges, right? And, and, and what are challenges? Just things that we can overcome, right? It's just a, 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 now it gives you the opportunity to be a problem solver. Instead of saying, yeah, but, and I call it the yeah, but, um, <laughs> yeah, but we could do that. Yes, we could do that, but it's not the right time, but it's going to be too expensive, but it's going to be a pain in the butt, right? <laughs> get that, get it. Yeah, they ended up funny. So I really want you to think about this because it will make a difference. And so a lot of times, I you know, it, and it, it when it happens, um, it sometimes triggers me, right? I get that little twitch thing that you do, right? Um, but we do it; it's just out of habit, right? And 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 we do it because we have a tendency to look at things and say, "What are the reasons that we can't do that?" Instead of saying, "Okay, what are all the ways that we could do this?" What are all the reasons why we should do this, right? How many ways can we say yes to this instead of saying no to it? Um, and we do that, especially as business owners and entrepreneurs, because our, our plates are full, right? Um, or because we want to stay focused. And all of that is fine. You don't have to say yes to everything. Maybe it's yes, we want to do that, and let's table that and talk about it in June. Instead of saying, yeah, but it's not the right time for that. We'll talk about it later, right? It's a different vibe. It's a different energy. It creates a different feeling amongst your team because they don't feel like they got shot down, right? You don't have to feel internally like you're shooting down ideas that you have that are good ideas. Um, here's another little just quick tip for you. One of the things that I do when I get an idea um, and I want to act on something, but maybe it's not the right time, um, we'll just use that example, or I know it's a later thing, or I'm focused on a particular project or an upcoming event or something like that, then I'll take that idea and I put it in, what I used to do was a real journal, I called it my idea journal. Um, now I actually keep mine in Evernote. You could do this in a spiral, you could do this any, any way you want to do it, you could keep it in your notes, whatever. Um, but I like one place, and the reason I started doing it in Evernote is because I always have my phone with me, and I don't have to carry another thing, right? The journal was something that I tried to always keep with me. Um, now I just keep it in, in Evernote. It's my idea. I have, a, I have a place that I call my idea journal um, inside of there. So if I'm out doing something, you know, I can always record it inside of there. So just a tip that might help you. Um, but I have those things and then what happens is because I've written it down and it's put away somewhere I don't have to keep it in my brain. I don't have to keep remembering. I don't have to think about it, right? I know that it's there. I know that I can come back to it later and I'm not going to lose that idea, right? How many times you had an idea and you didn't write it down and you go back later and you can't remember what it was, right? Maybe it's because it wasn't the best idea and you shouldn't follow up on it, but it's frustrating, you know, to have an idea. Um, you know, it happened this morning. I was going to shoot a video and uh, I'm in the shower. I had this great idea for a video and then I couldn't remember what it was. So hopefully this one is better. <laughs> but the, the point is when you when you program your mind to the positive, to the and instead of the but, right? More positive things are going to happen. But that's just a little tip. I use Evernote for that. I use Evernote to keep lists and those kinds of things. Um, I used to take little pieces of paper, wad them up, put them in my pocket. Um, and then I would get home and not remember, you know, where it was supposed to go. Or God forbid you wash your pants and and, uh, you know, now, it, now it's, it's faded and gone and the piece of paper looks like some kind of clumped up thing that used to spit through a straw when you were a kid. Um, <laughs> so one of the things that happens um, at my events is we eliminate the yabbits and, and it'll happen, right? So we'll be on a hot seat or we have a Q&A kind of thing and somebody will say, well, yeah, I could do that, but, right? And we immediately stop. 
and we really try to eliminate that so if for nothing else right for two days you're going to have that more positive slant that more positive approach on yeah i can do that and whatever the thing is so the and just provides that uptick whereas the but sort of goes whoop right it takes you down kind of thing so i just really wanted to to, to throw that out this morning um if you have an interest in getting rid of your yeah buts, um your team's yeah buts, I would love to uh, see you May 2nd and 3rd in Atlanta, Georgia. We're doing the Stop Marketing, Start Building Your Business event. Um, it's only a $97 investment. We're going to do a lot of different things. You're going to bring the one thing that you want to accomplish in those two days, the biggest challenge, whatever it is in your business. Um, and we're going to solve it, guaranteed, before you walk out at the end of the second day. I do this all the time. People love it because you get so much done at the event. It's not just me in the front of the room talking to you. Um, however, I will tell you there are no outside speakers or anything like that. Again, check it out. Go to, <laughs> I had to think, right? <laughs> StopMarketingStartBuilding.com is where all the details are. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're into the second quarter of the year now. And I guess the question I would ask you to think about is, you know, how'd the first quarter go? Are you on track? Are you in the same place? Are you spinning? Are you still in the same place that you were in um, at the end of 2018? Have you, did you do okay, but not completely hit your goals? Um, you know, are you tired of that place? And if you're tired of that place, the thing that I know is this will catapult you. Um, and we all have choices, right? We can stay in our yeah buts or we can change it to a yes and. We can grow. And one of the best ways to do that is to get away from your office. And you may think of it as inconvenient, but it's not. Get away from your office, spend two days in a place with a maximum of 30 people because that's the maximum that I take at my events and get some real one-on-one -on -one attention from me, um, network with some like-minded business owners, and really concentrate and focus on what you want the next three quarters of the year to be like. And then what we'll do is we'll put together your 90-day plan to get you there um, for the next 90 days. So it's going to be a ton of fun. Um, you're going to get a lot out of it. Mostly we'll move you from where you are to the next phase of where you want to be. And isn't that the most important thing that you can do for your business? Again, check it out. Go to stopmarketingstartbuilding.com. I'm Diane Conklin. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Thanks.